Hello and welcome. Today is the fifth part in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to create your very own PowerPoint presentations using only Python. At the end of the last part, I'd shown you how to create a graph using only Python. And then this part will be expanding on that and I'll be showing you how to create and edit tables using Python. It's very similar to creating a graph, except there are several key differences. Now, this is the final part in the series that I have planned. However, I always leave my series open-ended because modules always get updated and also you may have an amazing idea that um, may stick out and may be really useful for other people. So just comment below and I will see whether it's a really good idea that other people may want to know as well and then another tutorial may be added as well. But this is the last part that I have planned. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do um, let other people know if they may benefit from this. I think it's really useful and really good um, knowledge to be able to create PowerPoint presentations using Python and adds another string to your bow. Let's get started. Like the other parts, what we need to do is we need to create a slide with a given layout. So exactly what the same as what we've done in the other parts, we're going to create, we're going to type in PR1, which is our presentation, name of our presentation. So if we go to the top, PR1 right at the start is our presentation, PR1. So we call PR1 again, dot slide underscore layouts, and then a five is a specific type of layout that we want. And I've given that the variable slide six underscore register. And then below that, we type in pr1.slides.add underscore slide. And then we call our variable slide six underscore register. And that equates to slide six. So that is our um, slide that has been um, created with a certain layout. Cool. The next thing we do, we can do is we add a title to our slide. Exactly the same what we've done before. We type in slide six, calling our created slide dot shapes dot title give that the variable title six and then we type in title six dot text and we just give it a text in this case i've gone simple and i've just called it table nice so next thing we can do is we can add an actual table to our slide with a given positioning so what we can do is we can use the inches this is all very similar to creating the graph, except instead of having add chart, we add table instead. So it's pretty much like a rerun of the last part, except with a few differences. So we're going to specify uh, left positioning. We're going to specify uh, positioning from the top. And then we're going to specify the width of the table and the height of the table as well. Exactly the same as creating the graph. And then what we can do is we can bring it all together by typing in slide six, calling our slides dot shape dot add table. So this is where the difference is. So instead of having add graph or add chart as we had above, add chart, we're going to do add underscore table instead. And then we're going to specify um, how many rows and columns we want our table to have. Another difference than to creating the graph, I believe. Yeah. And then, so we're going to have, what is it? We're going to have um, three rows and four columns. So that's why I've typed in three comma four comma. And then we're going to specify a positioning for the table, which is what we've created above these four variables here. So calling these four variables, left table, top table, width of the table and height of the table. And then close those brackets. And then what we can do is we can save this as pr1.save, 
give it a new name for the file and then we can run it and then hopefully we can be able to have this PowerPoint created and I can show you cool and then if you go to the file where it's saved part five we see here that we have our table that has been created so this is our table created but now what we need to do is we need to be able to edit it because this is just a blank table at the moment so let me show you how you can do a cell by cell editing of the table so let's get rid of this file because we won't be able to open it again otherwise go into our code and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a variable so we're going to type in table one underscore frame and then equals this and i've done that below so all i need to do is just unhash this and notice this is just exactly the same as this except i've equated all this to table one underscore frame and then we can start populating it using that newly created variable table one underscore frame so if we type in table one underscore frame dot table and equate that to table one all this is a very similar process to you know creating a title where you have uh, the slide dot shape dot title and equate that and then you can edit it um, you know you, it's a similar sort of process to that but so now we're going into our table within that slide we can now so with this table one equating to table one underscore frame dot table we can now go into each cell and edit it so let's go into the first row of the first column so top left corner we can go by doing table one dot cell and then specifying a cell in this case zero zero that is top left and then we're going to equate that to cell and then we can type in cell dot text and then we can type in whatever text we want in that top left corner in this case insert title here and then what we can do is we can run it again let's run it and then it'll run through the code press any key to continue good 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 part five go to the bottom and we see here we have insert title here nice so let's exit that and then let's put some values in there as well so let's go to our code again and we can type in table one calling our table one underscore frame dot table and we specify we can call a different um cell by just changing our numbers here so one zero which is the second row of the first column and equate that to cell again uh, let's call this cell two although you can have it just calling it the same variable um that does also work but we it's good to give it a different name just to you know keep avoiding the confusion just in case play it safe so if you type in table one dot cell and then calling the second row the first column type in equate that to cell two type in cell two dot text and then insert a value there we can now run this again and we should get the text insert value so let me open that again reopen the file you have to reopen it every time here we have insert value here cool so we can also you know do another thing again just keep doing this as much as you want you know this this time let's go to the second row of the let's go to the first row second column and we can put subscribe please subscribe because that is exactly what i want you to do please subscribe call this cell three cell three dot text run it wait for it to run and finish go to our file open it go to the bottom and says please subscribe cool so you just have a lot of fun and um, that is all i want to show you for this tutorial so please do subscribe to my channel um like i said i always leave these series open-ended and if you have any great ideas please comment below i'll take a look and i will be more than happy to add another part onto the end
as I also mentioned earlier, these modules are always up continually being updated. So I also may find a very useful update and then I may add another part as well. I also have had a comment in previous parts of the ability to be able to copy and paste slides from one file to another. That is currently something that is not yet available in um, the current module that we're using. However, there are, I think there is a way you can work around. However, it's very convoluted and it's, to be honest, it's much easier just to open both PowerPoints and just do a copy and paste. Unfortunately, you do have those times where it's just easier to just not do the code sometimes. So thank you very much for watching and I'll, please do subscribe and please do watch my other videos and comment below for any other great ideas for another part possibly. Thank you and I'll see you again.